Edexcel A-Level Maths Statistics Summer 2019 Question 3. Barbara is investigating the relationship between average income, X US dollars, and average annual carbon dioxide emissions, Y tons, for different countries. She takes a random sample of 24 countries and finds the product moment correlation coefficient between average annual CO2 emissions and average income to be 0.446. We need to state our hypotheses clearly and test at the 5% level of significance whether or not the product moment correlation coefficient for all countries is greater than zero. So firstly, let's state our hypotheses. So our null hypothesis is that rho, the product moment correlation coefficient, is equal to zero. The question is talking about whether it or not it's greater than zero. So our alternate hypothesis is rho larger than zero. Now to test this, we need to find our critical value. So looking at our table, so this is just the table that we're given with the exams. We've got a sample size of 24, and we're testing at the 5% level of significance. So reading off the table, we've got a critical value of 0.3438. She has found that the product moment correlation coefficient is 0.446. Well, that's larger than our critical value of 0.3438. So therefore, there is evidence that the product moment correlation coefficient is greater than zero. Barbara believes that a non-linear model would be a better fit to the data. She codes the data using the coding m equals log base 10x and c equals log base 10y and obtains the model c equals minus 1.82 plus 0.89m. The product moment correlation coefficient between C and M is found to be 0.882. For part B, we need to explain how this value supports Barbara's belief. So our new product moment correlation coefficient is 0.882. That's a lot closer to one than our previous one of 0.446, i.e. there's a stronger positive correlation now, so it supports her belief. For part C, we need to show that the relationship between Y and X can be written in the form y equals a x to the n where a and n are constants to be found. So we're going to substitute our log values for m and c into Barbara's model which gives us log base 10y equals minus 1.82 add 0.89 log base 10x. Subtracting 0.89 log x from both sides gives us log y minus 0.89 log x equals minus 1.82. Now, if we get that left hand side all as one log, it's going to be nice and easy to solve. So looking at that, we've got 0.89 times a log. So by our rules of logarithms, that 0.89 can be brought inside as a power of x. We've now got two logs subtracting. So again, by rules of logarithms, we can bring them together. So it becomes a fraction inside. So we've now got log base 10 of y over x to the 0.89 equals minus 1.82. Reversing our logs means that the right hand side must equal 10 to the power of 1.82. That's all equal to the inside of the log y over x to the 0.89. 10 to the power of minus 1.82 equals 0.015 to three decimal places. And then multiplying both sides by the x to the 0.89 gives us that y equals 0.015 times x to the 0.89 which is in the form that we required. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.